in my previous in my previous video uh, we went through the process of writing the equation of this red graph and the blue graph so in the last video I told you so this on the x-axis this is the time since midnight this is the time since midnight and this is on y-axis we have taken the temperature of two greenhouses one called green so one called red greenhouse and the other blue greenhouse now in this week in this video I want to show how can we prove how can we find the point of intersection using algebra so let's by just looking at the graph you can make an estimate so this is this is phi so this is one and this is two so this is around this is about 1.6 and this is around 0 0.5 so I have already drawn this so what I've done is okay now before that let's write the equation just to recapture uh, recapitulate so this is the temperature on the y-axis and uh, this is time on the x-axis so let me write with a neutral color so for the red graph for the red graph we saw the equation is y is equal to phi the amplitude was phi because the minimum is 3 maximum is 13 uh, so the baseline is the average of that which is 8 and from 3 to 8 the uh, from 3 to 8 you got a distance of phi so phi cos so you can watch my previous video to understand this it was pi by 3 the period was 6 pi by 3 times x plus 2 plus 8 so here we are considering this is your starting point so this is where you're starting so from here this is a positive graph cos graph now for the blue graph for both the graph the period is 6 hours okay so here if you go from 3 to if you go from minus 5 to 3 half a cycle is 3 hours so this is 1 2 3 so half a cycle is 3 hours a so full cycle a full wavelength is uh, 1 sorry 6 hours so this is minimum and this is maximum so half the period is 3 hours in this case again you can see this is the minimum which is 4 at 4 you have the minimum and at 7 you have the maximum so half a cycle is again 3 so the full period is 6 hours so basically we want to prove algebraically that every 6 hours this the temperature of the blue uh, greenhouse is above the red greenhouse for 76 minutes that's what we want to prove we want to prove for 76 minutes every cycle this blue house or blue greenhouse has the temperature greater than the red greenhouse for 76 minutes so for the blue house we wrote the equation is y is equal to uh, 2 cos 2 cos pi by 3 this number this coefficient remains the same so this would be x we had started at 7 so from 7 it's again it's a cos, cos graphs so x minus 7 plus 2.5 the baseline was 2.5 so basically if you want to find these two points or if you want to prove what we want to prove we have to find these point of intersection so basically we have to equate these two graphs so let's equate so this is phi you can pause the video and try to do the algebra yourself I'll be pause I'll be pausing uh, because there are many steps here it'll take too long for me to do all the steps so I would like you to do uh, the algebra yourself so basically you have to solve this two equation two cos pi by 3 times x minus 7 plus 2.5 so this is left hand side and right hand side so let's simplify this 
So this is phi cos. So if we expand this bracket out, so this will be pi by 3x, pi by 3x plus 2 pi by 3 plus 8 is equal to 2 cos. Again, expanding this out will be pi by 3x minus 7 pi by 3. 7 pi by 3 plus 2.5. So now we have to use the compound angle formula. So uh, using the compound angle formula, we can say this is phi. I'll keep the phi out. Uh, so we are simplifying this using the compound angle formula. Cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. So this will be cos uh cos before that so let's before that let's change this into you got pi by 3x here pi by 3x so let's make a new variable so this is phi times y plus 2 pi by 3 so where did the y come from plus 8 i'll explain that so this is equal to 2 cos 2 cos, I'll keep the 2 out, which is y plus y minus 7 pi by 3 plus 2.5. So we are letting basically, so let's write that in a different color so that we don't forget. So we are saying let, let pi by 3x pi by 3x is equal to y. So this is a very important letting later on. We'll have to put this back into the original form. So this becomes, so using the compound angle formula, this will become phi bracket cos y cos 2 pi by 3, 2 pi by 3 minus sine y, sine y times sine, sine 2 pi by 3 using compound angle formula for cos plus 8 is equal to, so let me drag this to this side, so applying the same compound angle formula, so here the compound angle formula is for a minus b, so we have to be careful here, so this is cos y times cos 7 pi by 3 and as it is minus there what will come it will have to write plus here plus sine y times sine 7 pi by 3 close the bracket plus 2.5 plus 2.5. So I'll pause the video now. I want you to find, simplify this and uh, when I come back I will go over the other steps. So this is where we stopped. So I told you I'll be doing a few more steps. So this is just using the compound angle formula on the left and right. So I've expanded this out. So cos 2 pi by 3, use a calculator, will be negative half minus uh, sine y times sine 2 pi by 3 would be root 3 over 2. Okay, the same thing I've done to the right hand side. The right hand side, 7 pi by 3 is half. You can use a calculator. So let me show you. So let me go to graph. Uh, cos uh, shift uh, 7 shift pi by 3 cos 7 pi by 3 is 0.5 so that's how I got half and uh, sine 7 pi by 3 is root 3 over 2 plus 2.5 so the next step is I've just simplified it so this is something that you can do yourself so this is expanding it with phi 
so this is your left hand side and if you do a bit of algebra you will come to this step okay now is the most important step now you have got a form you got cos y on the left hand side you got sine y now it's not possible to solve in this form so we'll have to expand oh sorry uh, we'll have to square both sides to get sine squared cos squared here and sine squared and then we can use the identity of sine squared plus cos squared is equal to one so i'm going to write squaring both sides squaring both sides squaring both sides what will we get so this is 3.5 is 12.25 square of 3.5 is 12.25 cos squared y is equal to if you square this side this will be 30.25 30.25 and uh, if you if you do the 5.5 minus this times 5.5 this whole thing i'm not explaining the algebra there so you can do that yourself this will be 38.5 times root 3 times sine y and uh, the square of this is 36.75 36.75 sine squared y so now i'm changing this sine squared i'll let me change color again i can change this cos squared into sine squared so what will happen so this is 12.25 times 1 minus sine squared y is equal to 30.25 minus 38.5 times root 3 times sine y plus 36.75 sine squared y okay now if you make sine squared if you make this as a function of sine okay if you expand this out and if you make uh, a function of sine you can do the algebra finally you will come here which is 49 sine squared y 49 sine squared y minus 38.5 38.5 root 3 times sine y so this is a, fun, a quadratic equation in terms of sine plus 18 is equal to 0. You can do the algebra yourself. So basically you can, this is 36.75 and uh, plus 12.25 is 49. Okay. And then if you solve for solving for sine squared y or solving for sine y, you can use your quadratic formula you can use your graphic calculator let me use a different color now we can say sine y you'll get sine y is equal to two values which is 0 0.989897 you can use a graphic calculator go to solve and make it as a function of you you can solve for x and that x is your sine y and the other value of sine y would be 0 0.373711 okay and now you have to put back what is y y is pi by 3x so now you say but y is sine pi by 3 so this is sine sine pi by 3x pi by 3x is 0 0.9897 and this will be sine of pi by 3x 
would be 0 0.3711. So let me do 3711. And if you solve for this, you'll get two answers, but you are going to accept only one answer. The answer that we're going to accept is 1.63, 1.63. Seven one, and from here we're going to accept x is equal to because we know which are the values, which is zero point three six three one. So let me show you. Let me show that you can do this on a graphic calculator without doing the algebra. So what I've done is I've already saved. Uh, we've got the two equations. So let me show you the two equations. So what I've done is, hopefully my equation is there. I have saved pi by 3 as a letter A. So this is phi cos. A is, I have saved as pi by 3. X plus 2, X plus 2, plus 8. That's the first equation. And for the second, pi by 3 is A. a. And then these are the two graphs. So you go G solve intersection. So 0.3631, and if you press this, uh, 1.63, 1.63, uh, this tells you 6369. Okay, so algebraically I got this answer, 6371. Okay, so to get this, you can use again, go to graph and check the answer. Okay, so what's the difference between these two? So the time difference, the time, the time difference, the time difference is, this is x1 and this is x2. So that will be 1.6371 minus 0 0.3631. So let's use my calculator. This is in hours. We need to change this into minutes. So 1.637, 1 1.6371 minus 0.3631 equals, and that you times it by 60. So it's 76 minutes. So this is this is one point, what was the number? 1.274, 1 1.274 hours, which is about 76 minutes. Okay, so let me kind of show you how from this step you can get these answers. So let me go to graph and delete the equation. F1 and say sine shift pi x divided by 3. We need a basic trig graph, so let me make it trig graph from 0 to 2 pi. And then we want to find 0.9897, so if you could just solve x calc point nine eight nine point nine eight nine seven we'll get two we'll accept only one this is one and this is the other this is what I accepted one point six three seven one and for this I have to enter x calc point three six three seven one one three seven one one is 0 0.3631. This is what I took. So these are the two values I took and the difference is 1.274 hours which is about 76 minutes.